Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to create another type of photo widget on any iOS 14 device. Now I did this video like two days ago, but there has been an updated method on how to do it. So I'll show you exactly how to do it. That doesn't require you to make an album on your phone or anything like that from the photos app. So what you want to do is we want to download this specific app called photo widget. So I'll go ahead and pull it up on the app store right now. So all you want to do is type in photo widget within the app store and you will find this one. You don't want to download widgets. I would still recommend downloading it because it's a really good app. But the first one is the one you want. You want to go ahead and tap on here. You want to read it over or whatever and you want to install it. Now there's already an update out for it, but you want to go ahead and install it. And that's the very, very first thing you want to do this specific app. And I'll leave a link down so you can go and click there and just download it instantly. So once you have this app installed, you want to make sure that you're on iOS 14. If you're doing this on iOS 13 or below, it's obviously not going to work. So make sure you're on iOS 14. What you want to do at this point, you want to go ahead and find that photo widget app, which is right here. And you want to go ahead and open it. Now, once you open it, you will not see anything that I show you here. You will just have a blank page. And in fact, I'll go ahead and delete these photos right now. So you'll probably end up having this blank page right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click this plus button and it'll go ahead and take you straight into your photo library. Now it may require you to actually allow access to the photo. So you just want to say allow access to photos or whatever and just go from there. Now at this point, you want to find the specific photo that you want to put there. So in this example, I'll go ahead and just take this screenshot that I found on Reddit and I'll go ahead and post it here. And now it's probably not going to work that well because it's a little bit of a bigger screenshot. So I'll probably have to do it again. I'll click here and I'll click the TikTok one instead. So this will probably end up working. So once you have a photo loaded that is compatible and everything working on it, you want to go ahead and hop out of the app and then you want to hold down on an app or on a widget or whatever. And you want to basically click on edit home screen just like this. So once you have that done, you want to go ahead and click on the top corner where it has the plus button and you want to scroll all the way down until you see the photo widget. So as you can see, here's the photo widget right here. I can go ahead and tap on it and you'll go ahead and see these different options. You want to go ahead and click on the specific option that you like. In this example, I'll go ahead and click on this one. And as you can see, that photo that we just put on our photo widget app right here showcases us right there. So that's honestly really, really awesome. So that's really all you have to do. If you have different photos, you can set up different ways. And I had it right here as well. As you can see, I had set up different things. I had, you know, the same photo on it, but that's basically how it looks like at the end of the day. And it's a really easy process. It really doesn't take up too much time, but this is just another way to do it. Now, if you want the photos to change, you know, from different things and different photos, which you can do in this case, it go ahead and open the app. You can go and click on the settings right there. And you'll come into this page. Now, you'll go ahead and see the photo refresh interval right here. You want to go ahead and tap on it. You can go ahead and make it so it changes every hour, every 12 hours, every five minutes to never. So that's another really cool thing you can do if you have a lot of photos here. You can go ahead and do about it and go about it that way. So that's pretty much another way to set up photo widgets on iOS 14. That's a little bit easier. If you guys have a if you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I'll love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.